I'm on a mission to uncover the ultimate pan for cooking the perfect fried egg. While many of us choose the foolproof non-stick pan, I'm going to explore the many different pans you can use to make this popular breakfast staple. Join me as we put different pans to the test and discover which one cooks the best fried egg. Ah, the fried egg, the quintessential breakfast food popular across the globe. Delicious on its own any time of day, but often seen on a plate next to bacon, tortilla, salad, pizza, even on a hamburger. My perfect fried egg is a sunny side up egg. It has a medium cooked yolk, not too soft, not too set, a little bit jammy, fully cooked and opaque white, just a hint of golden brown crispiness around the edge, and I'll be seasoning each egg with a little bit of kosher salt. At Maiden, we have frying pans in four different materials, and we'll be putting them to the test. Stainless clad, non-stick, enamel cast iron, and carbon steel. Each material will yield a delicious egg, but to keep things on a level playing field, we're gonna set a few rules. Each pan will be preheated over the same burner, cooked with one tablespoon of grapeseed oil. Each egg will land at the center of the pan and seasoned with 1 16th teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'll be basting the eggs part of the way through the cooking process, timing to see how long it takes for each material. I'll be trying the eggs one by one, and then I'm going to cook them all again at the same time and bring in a random guest. I'm interested to see if they can match the pan to the egg. I'm really excited for this challenge. Here at Maiden, we usually recommend the non-stick pan for cooking eggs, but I actually think stainless or even carbon steel could be a winner. I love the enamel cast iron, and I'm sure we'll have a delicious result, but it might take a little bit longer to preheat and get competition ready. First up, we have our stainless clad frying pan. Preheating over medium low, and I'm gonna time how long it takes for this to heat up. Next up, non-stick. Enameled cast iron skillet. And finally, our last material, carbon steel. A lot of people worry about food sticking to stainless steel, but if you can heat it up properly and add some oil, you can avoid your food sticking. Carbon steel has similar performance to cast iron, but it is a lot more lightweight. It's got great durability, heat responsiveness, and versatility. I'm guessing this is gonna heat up pretty quickly. I am not worried about this pan at all. Nonstick should be a foolproof choice for any kind of egg dish, but I'm wondering how the taste lines up with the rest of the pans. All right, I'm about two minutes in, and actually it feels ready to go, so I'm gonna add my oil. It's been about two and a half minutes. It's warmed up, it's not blazing hot. That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for a medium low, because that's gonna give me that fully opaque white and just barely set yolk. So I think we're ready to add our oil. Okay, I'm at about two and a half minutes of preheating time. Feels right to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my grapeseed oil. All right, this has been preheating for about five minutes. Feels like it's ready, I'm gonna add my oil. So I can see right away that the oil is shimmering. It's definitely not smoking, but it looks ready to go. And I'm going to season with a little bit of salt. Oil is moving around nicely in the pan. It gets ready to add the egg. And add some salt. Once your carbon steel is properly seasoned, it should have a natural nonstick finish. So let's put it to the test. And some salt. I can see that the oil is shimmering, which tells me it's ready to add the egg. A little salt. This egg is cooking pretty fast. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a baste. We're about a minute and 15 seconds in. It's interesting that this has really flattened out a bit wider than some of our other eggs so far. It's been about a minute and a half and I'm ready to start basting. I'm basting the top to make sure the white is cooked all the way through around the yolk. It's already getting these crispy edges. So right now I'm just trying to make sure the yolk is cooked to my liking and then it'll be ready to pull. But it's not sticking. That's a good thing. It's been about two minutes, 30 seconds and I'm gonna baste. The egg is sliding so much, it's kind of hard to baste it. Just barely getting a little bit of crispiness around the edge. We're almost there. 
All right, time to start basting. Just wanna make sure my yolk gets cooked a little bit more and the whites on top are completely opaque. I can see the whites are kind of nice and lacy. They have a nice golden brown crispy edge. This one looks really delicious. Okay, we're about three minutes, 15 seconds. Ready to pull this. It's been about three minutes and 45 seconds. This is ready to go. And onto my plate. Four minutes and 30 seconds. This is ready to pull. It's, it's got a lot of motion to it. It's got really crispy, kind of lacy edges. I really like what happened with the white here. And the yolk is looking like medium, kind of what I was going for. So I'm excited to dig in. Mm. Love the crispiness. Love the bubbliness, love the lightness of the white. The yolk is, is very well cooked. I just need a piece of toast. We have a hint of golden brown edge. The white is completely cooked. It's also uh, pretty flat, so it just, it feels like that was a bit more of a gentle cooking process. Yolk is looking good. It has a little bit of that jamminess that I was talking about um, and a nice amount of runniness. It doesn't have the crispiness and that bubbly laciness of the stainless clad. I thought that this one was probably gonna get the most browning, but it feels a little bit between stainless and nonstick, but it has really nice browning, really nice crispiness, same kind of lacy edges as the stainless. The whites are tender on the top and crispier on the bottom. I feel like the seasoning from the carbon almost seasoned the egg a little bit more, even though it has the same amount of salt as the other eggs. Even though it has that enamel coating, really it's cast iron at heart. Definitely cooked a bit more like the stainless than the nonstick. It's very crispy on the bottom. Nice bubbling around the edges. The white is a little bit thicker in the middle, closer to the yolk. And the yolk is really nicely cooked. It's, it's actually quite evenly cooked all the way through. All right, I think I know which egg I prefer, but I'm curious for a second opinion. I'm going to cook all of the eggs again in each material so they come out at the same time. We're gonna bring in our special guest. They're gonna taste each one and tell me which one they like and try to guess which egg was cooked in which material. Firing in all cylinders. Joining us today, John from the product team. Come on down, John. Welcome to the kitchen. Thank you. Like hard boiled eggs. Also my shot. I have just done a ton of testing. I want you to guess which egg was cooked in which material pan. And then you can just place them next to the pan you think they were cooked in. All right. Starting with this guy. There's no crunch to it, very soft. It tastes a little salt that was put on top. I'm gonna say this was nonstick. Okay, number two. So here we have a little more color on the outside. The yolk is a little bit darker than that one, so you got a little coloring. I would guess this is stainless. Interesting, next one. The yolk here is a little bit harder. Definitely a lot more aggressive of a bottom sear than the other two that I had. This probably took the longest out of the three that I've eaten so far. So I would go the enamel. Go. A nice crisp bottom. That's my favorite one. I'm gonna go this one, carbon steel. Okay, feeling good about this? Let me just take a look at this one. Okay. We're gonna stick with it. Let's see how he did.
Non-stick. You were correct. Very good. This one, you said stainless, but it's actually carbon. Close, close. This one was your favorite. Wow. Enamel cast iron skillet. I'm gonna have to get me an enamel cast iron skillet. Yeah, you do. And that leaves stainless. Very interesting. I'm really bad at this. Song. No, those are really great notes, really good observations. All of these pans do a good job of cooking a fried egg. Did a good job. I appreciate you bringing me on it. Thanks, come back again. Thank you. Okay, so John loved the enamel cast iron skillet fried egg. A little bit surprising. It takes a little bit longer to heat up, but it does have that cast iron power uh, to give you a wonderful fried egg. The nonstick didn't surprise me at all. It did a great job, no sticking. It's definitely a foolproof choice for any kind of egg dish. If I'm cooking for a larger group, maybe on the weekend, family, friends, I'm gonna go with the nonstick just because of the ease of use and the ease of cleanup. I probably choose carbon steel as my second favorite option. It had a little bit more of a tender white which was really interesting to me. If I was going camping into the woods, if I wanted to cook outside, the carbon would be an amazing choice. It's lightweight, it's very durable and packable. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my favorite fried egg, which was stainless. I love the lacy, crispy edges. The white was perfectly cooked. The yolk was just like I like it. It was very even cooking. It heated up so quickly. It cooked the egg so fast. It'd be great for a quick morning breakfast. So yeah, I'm gonna have to choose stainless as my favorite. And if John's coming over for a brunch party, I'm cooking the eggs in the enamel cast iron skillet. It just goes to show you that any of these made-in frying pans can do a great job of cooking a fried egg, whether you're using stainless clad, non-stick, enamel cast iron skillet, or our carbon steel frying pan. They're all great choices. I'm Rhoda Boone for Made In. Let me know in the comments what food you want us to test next time. Thanks for joining and we'll see you soon.